The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Bull Bear, Nadex Options Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 64. We get the Nasdaq down 70. S&P's flat. Gold contract up dollar forty, trading at 12.34 an ounce. We have silver down five cents, fourteen dollars seventy cents. Light sweet crude up forty two cents, trading sixty three dollars fifty seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the ten year note up six ticks, trading one eighteen oh seven. Thirty year bond up a half a point, seventeen ticks, one thirty seven twenty two. And king dollar, king dollar down one hundred seventy eight ticks, trading ninety six one sixty five. The euro is one fourteen to one U S dollar. The yen is trading out here at one thirteen fourteen to one U S dollar. And we got to go take a look. We do this every week, of course, uh, between oil and natural gas. But what you're going to see out here today, natural gas is going topside in a huge way. Okay. It's up 7.3%. I, ha I had not seen that. Yeah. 24 penny move. And you, what you're going to see, you're going to see a gap higher. What is going uh, on? Uh, seriously, man. Now, you know, this is, this is quite a move, folks. And it looks like it's a, a big ABC up, you know. So your A point on this would be uh, 284. Your B up there is at uh, 340, you know. So what, you get 60 cents approximately, which uh, gets you uh, yes. into about the 375 number. Yes. Um, and I so believe... So I was just going to say that. I'm waiting for the news. Yeah, so you get power outages, okay. midnight gas plant rises. Uh, and maybe that's, yes. Yeah, the, 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 let's see, the winter shock, supply shocks... Uh, that U.S. natural gas have been predicting for months may be inching closer to reality. Gas futures jumped as much as 8.7 percent in trading Monday. Um, where's the one weather model shows? Okay, so forecast turning sharply colder, right, for the eastern and central regions of the country. Um, icy blast extending into Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, it's close, but it's not that close if you're talking about no. a cold streak lasting all the way to Thanksgiving. And where is it in Florida, man? But that's it's right. It's hot in Florida right now. I know, Again, you can't folks. complain. Get that out of here. Yeah. Thanks. It's middle of November. I think a lot of people take 82 degrees and uh, sunny on Monday morning. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. You know, that's that's quite a move. Remarkable though. move. Yeah. I mean, I I, I, yeah. I I was really looking for more information than just that. I mean, 25 yeah, I, cent hike just right. for saying, man, the, the weatherman's saying it's going to be a little cold for the next couple of weeks. It's like, yeah. wow, if that's all it took for um, a 25 cent pop to the upside, that's pretty remarkable. Yeah. So with the commodity weather group LLC is saying the patent. Uh, also seen in the winter of 2013 and 2014 when the polar vortex sent gas prices to a six-year high. Okay. So that's what they're probably banking on. That this could be the beginning. If you're going to get a cold spell they, for they, a two-week period. If it's, that, a, real, if it's that, a real cold vortex, yeah. yeah. So Yeah, so they're going to be below temp, November, below normal from November 10th to 14 and lingering on the East Coast during the following week. I guess, you know, a couple weeks, I guess, that they're saying. That's, you know, you got, you got all those heating... It's, it's pretty amazing that a couple weeks to do that. Operations cranking out. I, yeah, it is. It's, I agree. It's, but you're, it's, you're probably right that there's a little bit more maybe that maybe that's just a little telling of what could be coming down the pipeline in terms of those types of spells in the winter. I mean, geez, we've had it on the hot side, right? Oh, yeah. The whole country. Totally. So maybe it's like once you get into the winter, you're going to get into the cold side. Right. Because I think a lot of people missed out on um, like a fall. Oh, for you sure. You know, whatever that fall is, as in came like lightning fast and the northeast it was like cold cold all the leaves are gone <laughs> really yeah you got some beauty but you know it was just from straight heat to cold yeah. so apple apple's yes. got problems in paradise out here folks uh, apple broke lower friday monster volume you know you had uh, 91 million shares friday you're going to do more than that today you're already 18 million apple's going after this gap that gap is 192 we've already hit 199 um, and the, the fundamental news in Apple is not good at all. You know, I heard no. you on the update. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, you, you're talking about they canceled production. Yeah. Um, and in, the production boost yeah. Yeah, for their low, lower cost iPhone XR. I mean, that's probably should be their biggest mass market item if it's oh, yeah. their best iPhone at the lowest right. price. Um, yeah. And so Apple told smartphone assemblers Foxconn and Pegatron to haul plans for additional production lines dedicated to the iPhone XR, which just hit shelves in October. So guess what? I wonder what the sales were like in October. 
No, Probably no. not good, man. No. And when I was talking with Dave on Friday, you know, he was explaining that the Samsung has caught up to Apple tremendously okay. on the hardware aspect as well as the aspect, uh, software aspect. Okay. Um, if you compare it to an Apple. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's intriguing that, and of course, what happens is that those Android phones are so much less expensive. Yes. You know. Apple always comes at a premium, for sure. And uh, so we'll, we'll see where that shakes out. Yeah. On the same month that they say that they're going to stop reporting numbers for their iPhone sales, right? Yeah. So that's, yeah. I think everybody's cluing into the potential yeah. risk there, at least. Yeah, they didn't get away with it. That's the bottom line. The no. Mar the market did not let them get away with saying, I'm not going to report my sales. And here's what to be aware of is that, you know, Tim Cook and Apple is aware of that was coming, too. So right. they made the calculated risk that it was worth it to take a bunch of heat. Right. Because maybe that's the lesser of two evils. Could be worse. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Some of the high-volume equities we got out here, Apple is right up there. That's down uh, 8 bucks. Uh, you got uh, GE is flat out here. Uh, you know, the, the new CEO is buying $2 million in stock. $2 million worth yeah, of stock, yeah. He'll lose that. <laughs> uh, you get uh, Micron Techs off a of buck forty-five. We got uh, Facebook down two bucks. Nothing, nothing too dramatic out yeah, here. Yeah, Citigroup, is Citigroup up there? No. So they got a new chairman. See that? So uh, that's up they already got it in cents. there. No, they don't. Yeah. So they have a new chairman this morning. Yeah, John Duggan. Okay. And I guess the other, it's just a step down type, yeah. type deal. Right. Um, the previous chairman, yeah, O'Neill, to retire. So, um, other commodities out here this morning, folks, because last week, you had the dollar fail in a large way. Well, hey, let's do the dollar first, because the dollar tried to make a comeback on Friday, um, and you've, you've still backed down, well, it's hard this morning, too. You got up to 96,510, and the number to keep your eye on is at 96,450. That's where we came, we came down, well, we get over it with 16,000 contracts. We got over it on, um, right there. yeah, 16,000 on October the 30th. 30th. You did 20 the next day, 22, and then you fired down with 29. Uh, then we did 31 at a yeah. lower low. Yeah. Uh, that's a big number. So this, uh, you, so you got a failure, a major failure on price and volume. Bottom line is that we'll see whether they get the expansion because I suspect what we're going to see now is that it's going to go after that June 14th. Um, strength bar from the dollar. That's when the dollar had big strength. It hasn't been able to break down uh, into that level, you know. You know, it's interesting. I had just taken a peek um, at where Bitcoin, so I just happened okay. to, on that 10 o'clock update, just yeah. keeping things in perspective. Man, it's crazy. So I just put it on a daily, and it's pretty remarkable. We're now through September, we're through October, and we're going back to September 6th was the last time that we were had any volatility. You saw on September 5th a drop from 73.86 to 62.77. Yeah. And we've just been hanging right there, man. It's just remarkable to keep in perspective. Two months now of I no know. volatility on Bitcoin. Right. Um, and you could always be the one selling that volatility just to put things in perspective and some of those spreads or whatever it is, uh, no matter what market you're in. But that's something I started thinking about when we're now on two solid months of kind of no action there. Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 25. Nasdaq's down 90. S&Ps are up four and a half. Gold's up a buck 30. You get notes and bonds higher. King dollar's down 280 ticks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, we have the Dow up 32, Nasdaq's down 86, S&Ps are up four. Let's go into the NDX 100. So that's, uh, of course, Apple's a big part of that. Uh, so it's yes. taking a little beating out here this morning. Definitely. Um, oh, that's interesting. No, Apple's not. Oh, there it is. It's number three. Okay. Yeah, and it's such heavily weighted. Down four yeah. percent. Big number for right. almost a trillion dollar company. Yeah. Almost. So you, not anymore. Good. Yep. Yeah. So you get Activision um, is the leader on the way down. It's down 5.8 percent. Then Skyworks. Skyworks is an Apple supplier. Yeah, and we already read the article, right, that yep. directly said they told their suppliers no more build right. up for that cheap phone. Yeah. Pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, AMAT uh, down 3.6%. We'll have to go back to that and see what's going on there. Kraft Heinz is up 2%, but that. Love me some ketchup. No good. Yeah, ahead, well, that equity got smoked. Okay. I mean, that's. Yeah, cool. see, I mean, yeah, this is down four months ago from 64. Ouch. You, you, yeah, so that's a dead cat bounce. Yes. You got. Okay, so NetTease is up 1.7, Symantec up 1.4, is that Pepsi bottling? Yeah, Pepsi Cola is up uh, 1.7. Um, let's just look at this NDX for a second. Okay, so that's interesting. So, so you get the NDX, it's filling up that gap from uh, 68, 16. Interesting. 68, 68 we got to. If I look at the futures, NQZ8. Because what we had happen on Friday was, was pretty interesting. The, what happened, folks, is that you had given it up on price on Friday. You know, we, we got higher, gave it up on price. Now, the reason I'm saying it's interesting, I'm looking for the C point of an ABC down. Okay. You know, and this is always tough in the marketplace as, as to where the turn is. And what I like to see is that, like, see, the NDX went to 73.43, 71.43. I would have rather that it hit one of these swing point so I can say okay it rejected it you see what I'm saying okay. it just didn't okay but the, if I go over to the S&P my take is that we're still not done getting higher that's that's how I'm looking at it and the reason I'm looking at it like that is that we actually got a little bit higher on Friday with volume okay you know we didn't hit it so we'll see where this shakes out because if I only take the Fibonacci sequence out of it you know you could you can make the case that hey that might have been it 
you know, because we just about got to a 50%. Pretty close, right? Yeah, you know. I mean, what is the, the high it's, of that day? The high is 2766. Yeah, and it looks like I'm in 2775. Yeah. You're talking about 10 S&P points right. when the whole range is 350. Yeah. From you know. 2947 down to 2600. Right. Which, quite a range. Yeah, huge, <laughs> yeah. huge. And, you know, the, the way that it did sell off, I mean, it sold, out, it sold off quick, but we'll see where that shakes out. But my takes is that uh, we're not done yet. So it's going to get intriguing, of course, because what we have, we have the election tomorrow. Do we? Oh, yeah. We have the Fed, get out and vote, folks. We have That's the right. Fed meeting on Thursday. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I heard you talking about that in the you newsletter. Know, yeah. Is it's it Wednesday, a, Thursday, or is it just Thursday? I don't know. Today? Let's, let's go look. Right. Uh, I'm There's not sure. There's a very low chance of any rate hike coming that's down right. the pipeline. That's right. So, I'm so just it, not sure whether right. it's a two-day meeting or a one-day meeting. Let's see. Meetings. Where are you? Calendar. It's calendar. Okay. So. I think it popped up on the left there, possibly. Okay. So, we're, November. That's announcement date. Yeah. That's pretty bad. This doesn't say. Interesting. I'm yeah, sure, it, I'm says, sure it says, uh, yeah, it says announcement date, uh, right. Fed rate decision, November 8th. Yeah, 2 o'clock. So regardless, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's going to be action here. And I, I suspect, um, you know, we'll see where it checks out. The uh, overseas, you know, last night you, you had uh, Asia get hit again. You know, this, you know, you had Hang Sang down 2%. Nikkei was off one5 um, Europe's not bad. Europe, okay. Europe was mixed this morning. Yeah, still, it's, that's up slightly. It's remarkable, isn't it? We've covered it before. Looking at those year-to-date percentages on yeah. the far right, um, you know, our three indices back in the green, 2%, 2%, 5%, 5%, but, man, Europe across the board, and yeah. where you just were in Asia, Asia. Even, even worse. Watch, well, yeah, they're at yeah. the bottom there. You can we, see them, yeah. You go into Asia, like, this is heavy money. Yeah. The, the, Shanghai comp down 24, Shenzhen 32. <sighs> 32. Right. Yeah. 23 in the CSI, yeah. 13 in the Hang Sang. Yeah, Nikkei's down 4%, which is yeah. the winner there. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's there. This. I mean, there's, there's some real bread there. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at that uh, gold market. So what we have out here, and th what will happen here, I suspect, folks, is that the, the gold market is going to move on what the Fed, not the Fed, you know, I don't expect the short-term rate to go up because it's almost, we'll, we'll pull it up, but it's almost nil. Yeah. Uh, but it will move on the aspect of what's in their statement. Yes. You know? Yeah. So we'll see whether they uh, bring up the aspect of uh, the market getting highly volatile as well as the amount of tariffs that are out there. Uh, because the companies have been coming out saying, hey, listen, man, you know, these tariffs are basically hitting us. They're going to matter. Right? They're, they're, they're mattering on the, you know, the amount of... Uh, Money we're making, the amount of jobs that we're basically yeah. pulling back at. So, um, if you go over to Big Blue, uh, so uh, Big Blue also uh, hurt that CEO, Jim. Buying Jimmy, shares. Yeah. Yeah. Three million in stock. Jimmy Romney. Yeah. That's I not mean, gonna make a difference either. No, and you know, to put things in perspective, and it's it's not a bad sign for the company. You know, it's definitely not. But CEO is putting up maybe two million, maybe three million. I mean, yeah, so what is the, re the reporting holdings are 30 million, the market value of their position. Right. So you're buying 2 million, even if the, co the stock gets cut in half, you just lost $1 million, and I'm not sure what their annual pay package is, but I guarantee you it's more than a $1 million a year. <laughs> no, totally. I mean, As in it would be like the normal average American maybe saying, I'm putting $30,000 into stock, you yeah. know, as in even no, no. less for probably in perspective. Sure. So, you know, if a CEO wants to put $50 million in their company, yeah, now, I'll, I'll perk now my eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, yeah, right. exactly. Oh, okay, there it is. She makes $19.7 million a year. Yeah, exactly. Award yeah. and pay, $19 million. That, oh, that, oh, that, okay, that's in, that's it. This that, is, oh, this is even that's better. That's 2017. That, that's in cash, but what, then no. she, she get non-cash of 11.5. No. no, so that breaks it down. It's total between the cash, 6.7, oh, okay. and non-cash. Okay. But nonetheless, that's 2017 pay of right. $20 million, and right. you bought $2 million worth of stock. Right, and she's probably doubling down. Yeah. So keep things in perspective. Yeah, yeah. And I think the market is not nothing too dramatic on that pop for IBM, especially. We uh, go into the uh, so silver last week, folks. Okay, now, now silver really acted well last week. The, the real question is: is, that, is it going to be get, able to get up and over this consolidation it's in? And what it certainly has done, it's pushing into the top of the consolidation with real volume. You know, on. Thursday, we did uh, 122,000 contracts. You're going into 106. 
On Friday, we did uh, 107. That's a that's a good way to push into the downdraft. You know, it's going to take a bit because when we when this silver came down, man, it came down hard. August 15th, big number, man. You know, 15 dollars and 16 cents to 14 dollars and 40 cents. Silver's silver's, yes. silver's wild, man. A little volatile. It's, oh my God. Definitely. It is volatile in spades, no doubt about it. If we go take a look at the uh, GDX, you know, GDX didn't do bad. I'd like to see another sign of strength, though. You know, what the GDX did do, it's backing into the strength from uh, October 11th. You know, we had 138 million there. No, we had 134 million. We backed into that with 95. That's how i like to see it happen. Now, guess what? We want more. We want a sign of strength. There we go. Right now. Let's see what Stay happens. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We want to hear from you. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 21. NASDAQ is down 93. S&Ps are off one and a half. Come right back. Jason Path has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at TFNN.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex, or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 62. You get the Nasdaq uh, down 85. s and P's a flat. That Dow moved around quick, man. It has, man. And that Nasdaq, it seems like 1% is standard by the first half hour of the trading day, whether one, one way or the other, right? I mean, oh, yeah. Man, it, the volatility, it's crazy. It's a beautiful thing. It is. So, we're voting tomorrow. We sure are. Everybody, no matter what you think, get out there and vote. Most important thing you can do, without a doubt. And we talked about it a couple times. So, yes. one more, just bringing it up. So, you got November 13, talking about the Greyhounds in Florida. Interesting article by ESPN a few days ago. If you just Google ESPN dog racing, okay. you'll be able to find it. I mean, that's, that's literally what I did to do here, ESPN dog racing. And what it talks about is that Florida is essentially the only place where it's still able to thrive. And I say thrive as in it's a dying industry every single year, but right. it thrives in that we have 11 tracks in Florida, and there's only 17 in the whole country. And so it might seem a little normal when you have tracks, whether it's a Palm Beach Kennel Club, we have Derby Lane right around here. Yeah. I play poker occasionally there. The, one of the other added benefits is 13, which is Amendment 13. If you vote yes, it passes, and dog racing will become unable to be bet on in Illegal, Florida. Right, yeah. Yeah, right. And basically what the article talks about is that uh, it's a dying industry anyway, and that if Florida passes that Amendment 13, that it will probably um, lead a fatal blow, in their words, to the Greyhound racing industry just because it's so big. 11 of 17 tracks outside of Florida, only six tracks exist in the whole country um, in, in some states. So we encourage people to get out there, vote yes on 13, and um, the, the gambling industry is thriving in Florida, man, and it will be thriving. And what will, yeah. get, it will, will be cool is that there will be some loss of jobs on the dog side, but there's going to be a lot of gains in oh, terms yeah. of the, the poker and a variety. They might be able to have slots in those areas. Like, there's a shift that's going to allow those tracks within Florida to shift to the other gambling revenues that are actually building every year. And right. then whether, you know, online. So that's... No matter what. Tomorrow, yeah. Tuesday, get out there and vote. And all those dogs shouldn't be locked up, folks. That's the bottom line. Oh, it's, it's a tough like, deal. Yeah. And you hear, you know, misinformation on the other side talking about that they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. How would you be fine if I locked you up yeah. 22 it's hours a day? It's unfortunate, no matter what. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to be locked up, folks. That's the bottom line. Yeah. You know. Oh, so the market's looking to <laughs> unlock itself, too. Triple-digit gains in the Dow. Here yeah. we go. So let, let's see uh, what inside that Dow. So you get Chevron up 3.6%. Uh, Look at that hit, man. You know, well, let me see this for a second. That's quite a hit. It sure is. And you know, this XLE, man, ah, this kills me. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I was, I was, we shot the XLE, I was gonna go long it. Just because it hit, what had happened is that this hit perfectly, that February swing low that I was okay. looking for. And Just it rejected. that area, yeah. yeah. You know, we, we, you know, I wonder how for Chevron that's playing in. Of course, you have the, the sanctions going back on Iran oh, this yeah, morning. Right. And so maybe they're somehow positioned to be able to capitalize in some way. Of I mean, it obviously isn't going to hurt them. Um, compelling they got an value. upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Let's so. see what Exxon's doing. I mean, even with those sanctions, I mean, they, they there's a lot of states. I mean, not states. Uh, that's the Exxon made it, too. Exxon, you know, seven days went from 76 to 81. Yeah. That, that's a big number for a, yes. the amount of shares they got outstanding. Definitely. I mean, no, huge companies. Like 4.2 billion shares outstanding. Right. No, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, because the sanctions, they, the sanctions are out there, but they let a lot of the countries off the hook on the sanctions, too. Yeah. We'll you know? see how that plays out in yeah. reality. But that's yeah. the early, right. Yeah. Yeah, and if we go take a look at, this is, if you're in the, the metals market, folks, there's, you know, it, you get Great Panther. Great Panther's trading 60 cents right now. That's at another low. you got to be careful inside these silver stocks. Um, you know, when I did that workshop, you know, it, it's, these silver stocks are different than the gold stocks. And, you know, Great Panther right now, you know, bottom line is that there's not much between where it is right now and down at that 52 cent area. I mean, it, it broke and it broke with some volume. Yeah. Can you go to the description for them whenever you finish up? I just yeah. want to see the market cap at this point because it's struggling, man. Yeah, 100 million still, yeah. as in nothing, but it starts to get a little dicey in my mind. We've talked about it before when you start getting to companies where they're valued at 60, 70, 80 million dollars because there's a lot of smart money out there. And if there's substantial value in a company that's valued at 60, yeah. 70, 80 million dollars, a fund will come in and just take over a majority shareholder position to now, capitalize. But. Yeah, now, now the positive out of silver it, it would be Pan American silver. Um, this is still, it, it needs some help, but this is perking its head up a bit. Quite you know? a different chart. Yeah, as compared it, it with really Great is. Yeah. You know, um, $2.4 billion company, just yeah. kind of same. And I, I guess the, the overall position that really where I'm at, folks, is that 
the you want to get your head wrapped around more so the gold equities than the silver equities. That's kind of once I did that workshop and realized that what had happened is that silver did a hundred percent move of a move. And well, I'll just bring it up so you can actually see it. The, the, when you see this, it's like you got to be kidding me, man. Because I mean, I'm in this market, but I didn't even realize this when you go back 25 years. It's like okay, this is when the market started. Okay, going all the way back. What's that? 2000. Six. That's 2006. Okay. So, you know, we're at a 2000, well, yeah, you're at a 2006 level. Silver goes up to 49 bucks, right? Right. Okay. So now we go into the gold market and we take a look at the same type of chart and put that back. Look at the difference, man. Yeah. The, the difference, you know, we're, we're at a 2010 level. And, you know, we started out at $282. Yeah, even going to 2006, which yeah. was the comparison, though, you're still at almost like $600. Right. Where we're sitting at 1200 so, right now. Yeah, so, so the difference is, is substantial. Yes. And in a huge way, you know. And what also happens inside the gold market, which is cool, because this was only a 50% retracement in a longer-term deal, you very well could get an expansion that can be amazing. It, look at that. I mean, right. you know, so that... That's that's a that's a nice setup. That's yeah. a nice setup. Number one, that you can get to the high. You can make the case you get to the high. I cannot make the case that you can get to the high in silver, because guess what? You did 100% retracement. Yeah. You know. Silver. You, you can make that case. So as you're going forward, pay, I mean, t pay attention to percentage that. Percentage wise, right? Gold's at like 12.33 to get to 2,000. You need like a 50% rise. Silver to get back up to 50. I mean, what are you talking about? Two, three hundred percent just to put. I mean, that's right. why. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Big, yeah. big numbers, no doubt. And the uh, let's go take a look at copper for a second because copper, this is going to be all about China. So copper is trading down five pennies. This is not a bad setup though. I I I, I kind of like yeah I do like how this is set up. You can see, you know, we pushed with volume on the uh, seventh, uh, 27th, no, the 21st of September. Uh, you back down. We back down with. 95,000 contracts going into 145. You get volume again Friday. And that's what's important when you're looking at these charts, folks, okay? You want it both ways, that you back down like volume. You have a buyer in the, again as it's pushing higher. That, your probability gets a lot higher that you really get a true buyer in. Sure, yeah. You know? And this is a good base. You know, this is a big base, man. You know, and I suspect what this is going to be all about is the good old U.S. dollar. What's going to happen with the U.S. dollar, you know, versus the other currencies, versus the euro, versus the, the pound. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting to watch how things react tomorrow with the election, let alone just seeing what happens with the election. I mean, you, you see the market. Uh, I was just going to check real quick where we are in the VIX still, um, because we had talked about it. We'll probably see like 20 just hanging out, and it makes oh. sense that we've been hanging at this level, even if we have a relatively flat market, right? Dow, 100 points off, seems like a calm day in, in where we've been. Yeah, no, I, you know, it's, it's going to be cool because, uh, you know, none of us know. That's the no, bottom line. No. You know, it, it's like, okay, you know, here we go. Yes. And guess what, folks? The futures are going to be open tomorrow night, so everyone's going to stay up. That's right. I'll stay be right there. Big. Tommy and I come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. 
Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his gold report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 110. You get the Nasdaq down 92. S&P's a flat. And uh, so if we take a look at this uh, percentage-wise, you get the uh, Dow up four tenths of one percent. Nasdaq down 1.2. And if we go over and take a look, let me just see this composite. Okay, so yeah, the composite is. This thing wants, wants to fill that gap. That's going to be interesting if it gets that gap filled, because that's quite a gap. You know, the, we, had, we had gone topside on the 21st, 31st rather. So the bottom of that is 7166. That's 100 points down. Oh, they could, you could hit that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, Do you want to look at that article we were just looking at? Let's pull it up. Some of the, just in terms of where, what may happen in the uh, election tomorrow. And was it on top news? It yeah. was right there. Um, so, of course, no matter what, get out there and vote, people, because you never know what's going to happen, as we've been shown recently, until you actually vote. Uh, but looks like that, at least probability-wise, and I enjoy when people have to place money behind their probability bets in yeah. terms of really adding validity. That's why the option market's so good at pricing things, because right. there's a lot of money involved. So the uh, and it. So they're talking about, in terms of the House going Democratic, seems to be the safest, as in the highest probability of what's going on. They need 23 seats to take the House majority for the first time since 2010, and that is basically... Costing you 65 cents, right? 65 cents. To so this is predicted, folks. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's an online site, I think, right? Yeah, let's see where... Uh, um, it's a I'm New Zealand-based sure political prediction market that you actually can buy or sell. I okay. think that's how it works, you know? Yeah, and so the, the bad view is the safest. Let's see, 65 cents. And so it was at 70 cents, though. So that would correlate to, like, 65% prob probability, 70% probability. It pays out a dollar. So and uh, I would expect that the Senate, yeah, the blue way isn't expected to carry over the Senate. Wagers on the Republican losing stand at just 12 cents. So that'd right. be a 12 percent probability relatively. And so that's, that's like buying options out of the money, folks. Yes, you don't want to do that. Definitely. <laughs> right. Right. Um, be interesting to see what that uh, does tonight and tomorrow because it went from 70 to 65 cents. Instead of it 70 did, cents the House last majority, week. majority, yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just interesting. Oh, it's great. Nonetheless. Yeah. And it's... we'll see what happens. It should be an interesting night of right. election results.
not to mention all the ones down the ballot, right? We talked about the dogs. You got a big casino one. We had a lot of amendments. They have amendments in Massachusetts. I know there's a big nurse one that I've heard about in terms of they have nurse quotas, the amount of nurses that you can have per a patient. Oh, really? Um, or should I say patients you can have per right. a nurse. I got to talk to my sister about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure right. she feels strongly one way or the other. Right. Um, and uh, I think most nurses are for that type of limitation, right. but it's not as easy as that because you're dealing with different patients. Right. You know, and as opposed to a hard quota, so you're dealing with, you know, five patients that are in relatively good health, almost ready to be released. Well, that's okay. Or you're dealing with five patients from the ICU that just yeah. had severe, and so that's kind of the the both sides of that that make sense on both sides. Yeah. Let's go take a look at that bond market. So bonds, folks, on Friday came down with volume, and this is going to be this is you know this this market, you know, is. My take is that we're still going higher, but this is dangerous. You know, we had the 10-year come down to 2.4 million contracts, uh, going into 2.9, which percentage-wise, you know, is still a lot less. But, you know, bottom line, it's saying that the sellers in, uh, are still out there in a big way. Um, so I suspect what this is going to be all about is what the Fed says on Thursday. You know, yeah. I mean, we know that the Fed is saying flat out on short-term rates, we are going up, we're going to continue to go up. You know, we we put this percentage out here, December 19th, bottom line, oh, that's come down. That's interesting, man. That's come down pretty good, actually. You know, that's saying on the 19th, uh, on December 19th, we're only at 68% right now. So this has backed down over the weekend after this market. Okay. You know, that was, that was, do you know where maybe if this one, no, it's probably going down. Well, it's 2.25 to 2.5. Right, what, sure. No, that's yeah. that's the rate hike for sure. Yeah. The only thing I was going to point out is this is actually, there's a 5%. They're pointing to a half, which is not realistic in my, you know, as in. Right. So you add that, and the, that's where there'd be like a 73% chance of a hike. Does that make sense? You know, yeah. the both. I, I think it probably did come down, but that's where the chance, you know, it's it's a oh, little it higher than 60. That, that, okay. that thing was at 80%. Okay. You know, yeah. that, for December. Yeah. You know, so that's a big number, and I like seeing that because um, not, this changes a lot. We've, we've seen these numbers. These, these numbers can change like in about a heartbeat. There's no doubt about that. You know, we, we've seen that happen. So let's see. This 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 will give us. This is this is. Uh... I believe this is this is so I changed to what meeting and then yeah. you get the historical analysis of where everything has been for that meeting which is cool so we were higher let's see where is it gonna tell us each one you can see that we were higher the white the white is a hike and it has come okay. down a bit yeah. so you're right you know what I mean that's that's just uh, and it was even a lot higher going back uh, till the end of October. You can see how high it was versus it's just yeah. above 70 right now, where you're right, the white was hovering around 80. Now yeah, it's a little before, tough to see, before, but you can see Before the it. downdraft, it's, you know. Yeah. And, you know, the Fed saying that they're not going to respond to the market. Don't believe that, folks, because the bottom line, the market runs everything. <laughs> yeah, they might not respond to this market, as in we're not there yet, yeah. but if, if the sell-off were to continue and we ever had a November like we had October, right. they would begin opening their ears up. Oh, they, they, yeah, yeah. they did have to. Because yeah, they what, would, right. what would end up happening, well, just like with Apple. Would, would Apple, yeah, uh, bottom would line, now that's, that's overseas jobs that they're losing. But guess what? You know, if these are domestic places and you start seeing, well, today, Lowe's. Look at Lowe's. Yes, was is it this, 51 stores this is, maybe? Yeah. This is a trip. Um, I think it's just L-O-W. Yeah, so Lowe's. Yeah, they're yeah, 20 US, 31 in Canada, 51 stores. Yeah, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of stores, you know. And and the and they and they're being proactive. You, you can yeah, see this. They're getting a little bit leaner, right? Because they're making money. You know, they're they're yep. still they're, they're still expanding. Yep, they're making sure those stores. Yeah. You know, it's like you you don't want the good support stores supporting the bad stores. Right. And listen, you know, at Lowe's too, by the way, folks. Okay, you know. I, which, which is, I think it's Home Depot too, but I never realized how easy it was to get the a military discount. Because what happens is that when I always see that, I always think that, okay, you have to be retired or disabled, right? Okay. Because that's how it normally is. And it's military. Or active, obviously. Or active, of yeah. course, right? But at Lowe's, what they do, all you have to do is give them your DD 214. 
Okay, for people that have no idea what a DD-214 well, is. Well, the, the, okay. the DD-214 is your discharge. So okay. you, you have a DD-214. It's easy to get. Just go okay. to the VA. It doesn't cost anything. You put it in your thing, and they send it back to you. Cool. So it's 10%. Nice. I, I was buying stuff last night. I bought $1,400 worth of stuff and saved 145 bucks. Big time. It's like, that's... Yes, yeah, definitely. That's, that's a good scene. Definitely. So it was really easy to do, too. That's which, awesome. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's just look at Home Depot versus... Yeah, both of these came down. Well, I didn't look at the... Yeah, these are still at highs. These guys are making... This, it, what's what's going to get intriguing with a Home Depot and a Lowe's, folks, is that they might as well just be China shops. I mean, everything is from China. So that Taft issue is going to hit them. Okay. You know, everything they have is from China. I mean, if you just look at the stuff you have. I mean, and sometimes I look at their numbers, I say, oh, my God. I mean, just ship over a couple containers. Sure. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 102, NASDAQ down 83. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow up uh, 123. NASDAQ is uh, down uh, 76. You get the uh, S&Ps up three. 
and Fortnite. So this is quite a partnership. I'm going to get to play as Tom Brady, I guess, in, I, in Fortnite. This is pretty, pretty wild. Cool. So they're partnering up with the NFL. Players will be able to play with their desired jersey. Interesting part about it, we've talked about it before, you don't yep. need to buy anything in this game, which is one of the coolest aspects right. of it that allowed it to grow so much. You don't need to buy it for performance, to upgrade your player, you all start in the same deal, all you're buying is cosmetic deals, <laughs> and what better cosmetic deal than buying a jersey of your favorite team? Um, and and they put the Patriots up front. Of course they did. That's, and this that's the world we're we live in, at. man, yeah, Patriot right. Nation. Um, right. I'm just surprised that they didn't literally have Tom Brady up there, too. Fifteen bucks, too, that's, that's expensive. That's what I was waiting to, yeah. And, um, and this is what happens, you know, you can buy a variety of things, whether you want yeah. a new cape, you want a new shirt, you want a new pair of pants, yeah. I mean, you know, you want a new hat, you can buy things. It, they're not cheap, they're five bucks, or ten bucks, or fifteen, you know, you can buy a season pass, which I think that gives you a variety of things for the season, okay. you can earn points quicker with a pass, then, then those points allow you to buy things. Again, all cosmetic, though, which is the kicker in the in the whole deal in terms of... Um, and they, didn't, they have, they have 25 million players worldwide right yeah. now. Yeah, and um, and it does include many pro athletes. There's been a, a lot of videos. They even had at one point a baseball park, right? Let's say they're at Fenway. I think they might have been at Wrigley, one of these big parks, and then they have the big screen up in, you know, center field. Okay. And the players are sitting there, and they're playing on that big screen, oh. and they had somehow patched in the game to, like, the big screen. Okay. Um, but you can see that. Uh, so last month, Epic raising $1.25 billion from an investor group, that you, including KKR. Uh, as pretty it, wild. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Pretty, pretty Big remarkable. numbers. Big numbers. Folks, stay right there. We've got a lot of great programming coming up. We're going to start off with our Fast Market TD Ameritrade. Go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Steve Rhodes, Dave White. will be back this afternoon. Go vote, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. That's right. Tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.